Welcome back to the Easy Tech tutorial. Today I'll be sharing you five powerful features on the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra that make your daily smartphone experience smoother and smarter. And the best part, most of these work on other Samsung Galaxy devices too. So let's begin. So feature number one is where you can go to websites through your screenshots. So when you take a screenshot that contains a web address, Samsung gives you a go to website button so you can instantly revisit that link later on. So here's an example, I've taken a screenshot of some of the clothes which I want to buy. However, I basically want to buy this later on. So what I can do right now is go ahead and open up a website. So here I can go ahead and browse through these clothes and see which I want to buy for now. Just say for example, this one here. Let's say I want to buy this. However, I don't want to go ahead and buy it right now. I'll go ahead and buy it in the evening. So what I can do, I can go ahead and take a screenshot and then I can go ahead and press home. Now when evening comes, I can go ahead and open up my gallery. I can go ahead and browse through my pictures and basically see the one I want to buy. And let's just say it's, this is the one I want to buy. So I can go ahead and find this button here, go to website, tap on this, and this will take me straight to the website from that screenshot. So this basically saves time and effort since you don't need to retype or search for the link. It's like having a built-in smart bookmarks inside your screenshots. Feature number two is where you can add a delete button on your screenshot toolbar. So let's say if I take a screenshot, as you can see, this is the toolbar and on that toolbar, there's a delete button. I can go ahead and delete this. So after capturing a screenshot, Samsung shows you a toolbar at the bottom. You can customize it to include a delete button so you can instantly discard unwanted screenshots. So instead of taking random screenshots, you can go ahead and just delete it right away and then go ahead and take another screenshot. So let me show you how to add that delete button on your toolbar. So for this, you need to go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. Now in the Good Lock app, you wanna go ahead and open up the Nice Shot module. From here, you wanna go ahead and turn this feature on and then go ahead and find this option called Add Delete Button. So this will add a delete button to the toolbar so that you can delete the incorrectly captured screenshots immediately. Make sure you turn this feature on. Now when you go ahead and take a screenshot in any app, It'll show you a toolbar and from here you can go ahead and delete it. So this keeps your phone storage cleaner, it prevents unnecessary clutter and saves you time from manually deleting screenshots later on. So that's how to add a delete button on your screenshot toolbar. The feature number three is where you can basically amplify ambient sound. So this feature uses built-in microphone to capture and enhance surrounding sound. Basically it allows users to stay aware of the environment while wearing a device. Now, this is really great for people who have hearing difficulties. However, this can be also be used in a spy situation. Here is an example. So you have a group of friends who are having a conversation and you want to listen to their conversation. So what you can do is you can basically leave your phone in that room, turn on Amplify Ambient Sound, and then with your headphones connected, you can go ahead and go to another room. And this way, you'll be able to listen clearly what your friends are saying in that one room. So let me show you how to turn this on. So here we'll go ahead and open up settings, scroll down until you find accessibility. Now find hearing enhancements. Now from here, you wanna go ahead and find amplify ambient sound. Tap on this and make sure you turn this feature on. So this will amplify the world around you. So you will hear distant sound clearly and you put the focus on conversation when you're somewhere noisy. So to use this feature, you need to connect your headphones. So here we'll go ahead and turn on the Amplify Sound shortcut. We'll go ahead and add an accessibility button here at the bottom right. Now go ahead and connect your headphones and then go ahead and turn on the feature by tapping on the accessibility button. Now when you go ahead and place the phone in a room and you go away with your headphones connected, you'll be able to listen all the sound coming from that room. So this provides a greater safety and convenience, especially when walking outdoors, commuting, or having conversation without removing the device. So that is how to amplify ambient sound on your Samsung Galaxy device. Now feature number four is where you can edit your lock screen by long pressing. So instead of navigating deep into settings, you can simply long press your lock screen and quickly edit it. This way you can basically change the clock style, widgets, and adjust the layout. So here in the example, I'll go ahead and lock my screen. I'll go ahead and wake it up. Now here as an example, I wanna go ahead and edit this clock. So if I wanna go ahead and edit it, I can go ahead and long press on it. However, this won't let me edit anything on the lock screen. I need to go ahead and unlock it, go into my settings, go to wallpaper and style, 
tap on the lock screen and then go ahead and edit it this way. So let me show you how you can basically turn on a setting, which basically allows you to edit the lock screen by long pressing on it. So here we'll go ahead and open up settings. We'll go ahead and scroll down and find lock screen and AOD. From here, you wanna go ahead and find this setting, touch and hold to edit. So go ahead and turn this feature on. Now press home, now go ahead and lock the screen. Now when you go ahead and wake it up and go ahead and try to edit it, this will now ask you for a pin number or your fingerprint, and then you'll be able to edit it. So as an example here, before heading out for a jog, you can long press on your lock screen and add a step counter and music control so that they're ready at a glance. So this is fast, convenient, and it gives you more control over personalization. Your lock screen becomes both stylish and functional with just a couple of taps. So that's how to edit your lock screen by long pressing on it. Now the last feature is feature number five, where you can add custom buttons to your navigation bar. So Samsung's Navstar module, which is part of the GoodLock app, allows you to fully customize your navigation bar. So it allows you to basically change these shortcuts. So if you're bored of these shortcuts here and you wanna go ahead and jazz it up by adding your own custom pictures, then let me show you how to do this. So here in the example, we'll go ahead and open up Google and we'll find the buttons related to this. So I'll go ahead and find the home button first. So let's just say, for example, this one here, I'll go ahead and use AI select and download this. Now next, I'll go ahead and search for the back button. And now I'll find the task manager button. So now I have downloaded all of these icons and now I'll go ahead and replace them with my standard icons. So to do this, I'll go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. Next, I'll go ahead and scroll down, find Navstar. I'll go ahead and switch this feature on, tap on new configuration, go ahead and tap on the icons here at the bottom. So I wanna go ahead and change the recent home and back. So first for the recent, I'll go tap on that, tap on gallery, choose the photo for my gallery. So this one here, I don't wanna crop it. Next, I'll go ahead and choose home. I'll find the photo for that as well. Nope, and back. Now all my icons are ready, so I can go and tap on save. I'll go ahead and scroll down and find my layout, which I've created, tap on that. And now as you can see, it has replaced it. I'll press home. And now my icons have been replaced. So this way you boost productivity and personalizes how you control your device. So whether you want custom icons or your new style, Navstar makes your phone feel truly yours. So that's how to customize the navigation bar with custom buttons. And there you have it, five hidden gems of Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra that can make your daily experience smarter, faster, and more personal. Which one do you think is the most useful? Drop your answer in the comment section down below, and don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the Easy Tech tutorial, and hit the bell icon so you never miss the latest Samsung tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.